Today, I'm going to show you how you can create your own Photoshop mockups using smart objects. Let's get started here in Photoshop. The first thing I notice is that my box is in a squared shape here. This is important because this will determine what ratio I'm going to do my design for. So we're going to start with panel one. First thing I want to do is I'm going to select my rectangle tool. Holding down shift and dragging, I'm going to create a square. I'm not really worried about the color at this point, so I'm just going to close my properties box. It is really important that at this stage, you go to your layer, you right click and convert to a smart object. Once you've converted to a smart object, I'm going to reduce the opacity to about 35%. I'm doing this so that I can see the edges of my box here. I'll go to my transform tool here. I'm going to start sizing and putting the edges of my square here up against the edges of the box. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that I can see what I'm doing here. And for the sake of this tutorial, I think that looks really good. So I'm going to move on to panel two here. Same thing. We're going to select our rectangle tool. I'm going to draw another rectangle here. And this time I'm going to make sure that it is a different color. For this case, I'm going to choose purple. Once again, remember to go to layer convert to smart object and then change the opacity to about 35% so you can see what you're doing. I'm going to scoot this over using my transform tools and down a little bit and then I'm going to bring this in just like that. And then So, and then just for good practice, I'm going to name this panel one and panel two. Okay. I'm going to select both of my layers here and I'm going to raise the opacity back to a hundred percent. Here's the design example I have for this tutorial. I'm only focusing on panel one and panel two. So what you want to do at this stage is you want to save your assets or your panels in this case individually. So I'm going to be doing that by using the asset export window. I'm going to select panel one and I want to make sure that it is grouped. Once it is grouped, I'm going to drop it into the asset export window. Since there's no text here, there's nothing to group here. It's just a clipping of an image. I'm going to take that and drop it directly on my asset export window. I'm going to name this panel one and panel two. I'm going to select both of my assets here and hit export. I have a folder destination already set up, so I'm just going to hit choose here. And that was an export to PNG. Back in Photoshop, I'm going to double click this smart object link here. I'm working on panel one currently, so I'm going to grab and drop panel one into my design here. I'm going to leave the red background there so I can resize. And then I'm going to hide the red box here. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to go to file and hit save. When I hit X here, you'll see that my design updated. Let's move on to panel two. I'm going to double click panel two, locate my file, drop it, and then resize it. 
Once it is resized, I can hide the purple background. Go to File, Save. And when I hit the X here, you'll see that my design was updated. We're almost there. We're gonna select panel one and panel two, and we're gonna set both of these to multiply. I'm gonna select panel two, and I'm gonna reduce the opacity down to 85%. This will give me the desired look that it is in perspective and then there's two sides to this box. What happens if the customer wants to change the color of the logo or wants to change uh, this saying to a different saying? Well, we're gonna go directly to our Photoshop file. We're gonna change the text to believe in what you can ignite. I'm gonna format this text a little bit. Make it look a little bit more balanced there. It automatically updated the panel here because this is linked to that. So when I select panel one and I go to export, and I re-export in the same location, I replace that panel. When I head to Photoshop here, and I go to panel one, I'm gonna drop that in here, resize it. I'm gonna hide the old one, go to file, save. And when I close it, the new type came in. Mockups can be useful when presenting a logo to a client. This will help them visualize the logo in a real use case. Smart objects are non-destructive and make it really easy for you to go into that design and create different variations within one file. And that is it. This was a quick tutorial on how you can create mockups using smart objects. Thanks for watching.